Okay, so here we are. We're back to our website, our website slash blog. And what we're going to do in this lesson is actually create pages and posts. So this way here we can create our own custom menu and let the viewer be able to navigate our site easily. Now what I'm going to be doing is creating some kind of blank pages, but yeah, I'll title them. So this way here you can see and we can kind of work through this quicker. But obviously you're going to put content on these pages that are going to pertain to whatever you're posting about or you want your viewer to know. All right, so I'll just use some examples. And I, you know, I basically came up with a little framework right here. You know, your home page obviously that's what we're going to want people to land on, about us page, testimonials page if you have any, pricing page, contact us page, that's another good one. Uh, and then galleries, and then the galleries one, we're going to have a drop-down menu. So that's really what we're going to be doing here in this lesson. So we got a lot to cover. Let's get to it. So we're already logged in, but if you're not, then just go up here and do like I said before. Go to WP uh, hyphen and then admin. Click enter or return, and then it'll bring you up to the login page. All right, but I'm already logged in. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is go right here, and we're going to want to create a page. So let's just go to our dashboard, and then from here we're going to see this little icon that says pages, all pages, or add new. Let's add new, and we're going to keep it real simple. I'm just going to title this home. You can title it whatever you want. Um, okay, and then from there you have to create your post. Okay, whatever you want on this page. Now this page could be, you know, all of the information that you want people to know about your business, or you can just give them some sense of direction as far as what to do first, or maybe a welcome message from you, a video, something like that that you want people to land on when they they come to your home page. All right, it could be a variety of links that you want people to know about. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just you want to give people the sense of direction. All right, now if you don't want a home page and you just want people to go to your last post, then don't do anything and it will automatically default to that page. All right, but I'm going to say that we want to create a static home page. All right, that people land on and that we have control of. So we're just going to title it home and then we're just going to say, you know, this is my home page pretty creative I know alright so real quickly too, let me just show you this real quick because we didn't even talk about how to edit any of your posts or anything it's pretty self-explanatory I mean we went through it a little bit but I mean right here if you wanted to bold this just click the, the B for bold if you want to center it you can center it um, you know if you want to add a link just go ahead and hit this little uh, chain and then you can go ahead and copy in your link and then you can title it and then the other thing is, is you can have it open in a new window or tab. And what that's for is if you don't want them to basically go to another page and leave your website, you can pop up another window. So this way here, they'd have to X off of that and they're still on your website, which sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not. But uh, we'll talk about that another time. But that's basically it. Um, as far as... Uh, um, anything else to really go over right now we don't have to worry about anything because we just want to show you how to set this page up uh, the one thing I do want to mention is they have a thing over here under template and it's really not a lot to even consider because it's basically you just want to stay with the default template it has a showcase template or a sidebar template let's just go with default and then let's just go ahead and click publish um, and then obviously, I mean, if you wanted to add an image, yeah, I add an image there. I already went through that in the past lesson. Um, but basically, that's it. Okay, so now we have a page created. All right, so if I go to pages, all pages, you're going to see that there's the about us page that I created and the home page that I just created. All right, now if I ever want to edit it, I can just go here, click on it, or I can just click on the page itself and, and, uh, it'll go ahead and come up in the edit view alright but let's go over now and create a menu a custom menu that we're gonna start building so then what we wanna do is just go right here to where it says appearance alright and then what we wanna do is go to menus this is so easy alright the first thing that we wanna do is name our menu that we're gonna be creating I'm just gonna name it main menu alright and then I basically just have to go over here and click this create menu all right, now that's created. All right, now what we want to do is go down here and look at our pages. Now, if I created a hundred different pages, they're all going to show up down here, and I can select what I want to show up in that menu. In this case, I want the home to show, and I want about us to show. Click add to menu. Okay, now we're almost done. There they are, right there. Now, the other cool thing is I can reorganize these. If I have a bunch of them, I can put them in the places that I want. The top is going to be most to the left and then it's so on it's gonna follow um, in this case I want the home to be the first one now the one big thing that you wanna do here and I've done this 
and that's why I know and I couldn't figure out why my menu wasn't showing up is select it right here you need to select that menu and then click save the other thing is you want to make sure that you save your menu alright and then from there go over visit your site and then you see we have home and about us voila okay we have two buttons now that we've already created with two different pages alright so if I just click on that and there it is that's my home that we just created and let me just go back and then this is the about us alright so both of those pages are created now alright now one thing to keep in mind if I go ahead and click here now it's gonna take me back to the blog technically alright it's gonna be like my last post now you can leave it just like that if you want but if people come to your blog that's where they're gonna end up they're gonna end up on your last post a lot of people wanna land them on a home page alright so what we're gonna do is go right here again let this little drop down menu come down and then from there we're gonna go and hit customize and then from there we're gonna go static front page and we're gonna say not the late, latest post we want a static page we're gonna make this our front page home and then we're just gonna click save and publish hit close and then we're gonna to wanna to visit that site again and there it is digital backdrop or best digital backdrops com we landed on the home page now obviously this is very bland this is gonna show up so you wanna make sure that that's either home or maybe start here first or something like that you might want it to say um, and then this here obviously this is what I wrote remember this is my post and then to leave a reply you can basically get rid of this uh, let me just show you how to do that just go here and go to dashboard again you wanna to go to pages all pages and then from here we're gonna hit the quick edit okay so just hover over you'll see it disappears just hover over here and just go to quick edit and then from here we can allow comments which I'm gonna turn them off and we'll click update and now let's go back and let's see if they're gone yeah they're gone see so that's it that's how you do it now again this is very you know basic here right this home page but obviously you're gonna add your own stuff to it the about us page I kinda already did that for you just to show you that one in the past lesson but that's what a, a post pretty much looks like um, and that's your page alright so now what I wanna do is let's create another page real quick and we'll add it so let's just go ahead and go to our dashboard we're gonna go in here to pages add new we'll title this one pricing okay now this is my pricing all right oops if I could spell today would be great all right so that's my pricing and then uh, what I can do here is just go ahead and hit publish and then from there I'm just gonna go back over to my appearance I'm gonna go to my menus and then I'm gonna go down here and you can see now it's there select that add to menu there it is is that the order that I want it yeah that's pretty good click save menu let's go over and visit the site and there we go pricing click on it pricing this is my pricing obviously your pricing would go there alright so you get the idea I'm not gonna go through all of these I mean obviously we're doing for a testimonial maybe uh, and then we're gonna get into galleries and a drop-down menu real quick so let me show you how you do that alright so what we want to do in this it's a little different on how you're gonna do this but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it alright so let's go to our dashboard again and then let's then let's just go to pages again add new and we're gonna type this one galleries okay again if I could spell today okay galleries alright so now what we're gonna do is on this particular page if you have multiple um, galleries you would put them here so say gallery one uh, gallery two you know gallery three you get the idea right okay and this is just I'll show you in a minute this is just so if people do just click on that button and they don't let the drop down come down that they'll at least come to these here and then they can click these individually but I'm gonna show you how you can create these pages and have it be a drop down menu alright so again the same thing we're gonna go ahead and and select publish alright now that's gonna be its own page go back over to menu menus and then uh, from there we're gonna see that galleries right hit add to menu 
It's going to show up up top here. There it is. All right. And that's the order that I want it. Let's say, or you know what? Let me move it just to show you. There we go. Okay. So we got galleries. Then we got pricing. Click save menu. And then from there, once that that's done being saved, we can go ahead and visit the site. And then there you go. We got our galleries. If I click on it, you're going to see galleries one, two, and three. All right. Now this would be the pages that you're going to link to, but I'm going to show you how we can hover over this and then have a drop down of all your different galleries. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we get, do the same process. Go back to dashboard, you know, click, uh, click on pages and then, uh, go to add new. And then basically we're just going to go here and title this gallery one. And then we're going to say, this is gallery one, whatever. Okay. So you get the idea with that. Then we're just going to click publish and then let's do the same thing. Let's go here, add new. And this, so uh, let's go gallery two. This is gallery two. Publish. All right. And again, you're obviously going to be putting on your images here, right? I mean, I'm just kind of showing you how to create the pages. You're going to be adding the images. Now, you can do this a, a variety of different ways. You can create a slideshow and, you know, put it up on YouTube and then show a slideshow that way, or you can do it through Flickr. You can do it through any way that you want, or you can just upload the individual images right here by using the upload and then just putting them on there. Um, so really, I'm just showing you just to show you this way here, you can get the idea of how to create these pages individually. All right. So we, uh, we published that page. And the other thing I just want to point out, whenever you do make a change to a page, definitely make sure you hit update. It'll remind you, but just go ahead and get in the habit of doing that. And let's just go and add another one just so we can complete this example. And then we're going to do gallery three. And then this it this is gallery three. And then hit publish. Now we have the three pages created or four or five, however many you're going to create. And then from there, we're going to go to appearance and then menus. And this is what I really wanted to show you how you can do the drop downs. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, gallery one. We already got, already have galleries selected. Let's do gallery one, gallery two, and gallery three. And then let's say add to menu. Now, if I don't do anything, I just want to show you this. If I don't do anything and just hit save menu, I'm going to show you what happens. Go to the visit site. There we go. Gallery two, you know, three, one, they're all going to be there and you're going to run out of room pretty soon. Okay. I'm going to show you how we can grab these and drop them down below here. So, so when someone hovers over this, they drop down. All right, so let's just go back. Now what we want to do is right here where it says galleries, we want to take gallery one and drag it up to it. And you see how it's kind of offset? That means that it's a drop down. All right, so go here, do it again. You can see, okay? And then again, we're going to go here. And that's the order that they're going to drop down. Now, if I wanted this one here on top, I just drag it up to the top. Okay, now if I wanted, you can go even further, you can create another drop down inside of that one. So I could have that one drop down inside of that. We're not going to go that deep here because I don't think it's necessary. But we want gallery one on top, obviously, and gallery two, and then gallery three. Now let's hit save menu. And then from there, we're going to go back. We're going to visit site. And you're going to notice, look it, it's gone, right? All of those on the right. But if I go over here, look what happened. Now I've got all of my menus, right, items right there, okay? So it keeps it neat, it keeps it tidy, and it keeps it organized, and it also makes it nice when people click on this. Now, if, if someone went over this and they didn't just select one of these down here and they just clicked on it, that's why I did that before. Because now, if they did that, they're still going to come here, all right, and be able to do that. Okay, so that's basically going to wrap up this video. I know I kind of went a little bit long on that, but I really wanted to show you how to set up that custom menu. So I just wanted to really break this down for you, but you can see we just created a nice menu for you and uh, it's looking pretty good. It's pretty basic, but it's pretty good. And again, once you fill it up with your own content, it's going to look really, really nice. So if you want more information about this, if you're not on our NPB subscriber list right now and you're watching this on YouTube, you should head over to newportraitbiz.com and sign up to our email newsletter and our um, posts and updates because we have a ton of information that we give out for free on our blog and we give that to all of our NPB subscribers and we'll keep you up to date as soon as we release new videos. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this lesson. Once again, I really enjoyed making it for you. I hope you got a lot out of it and I'll talk to you soon.